Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time I'm delighted to be able to share with you this first look at the exotic adventures of Robert Silverberg. Now this is the latest publication from the Men's Adventure Library, which is published by Robert Dice and Wyatt Doyle. Now this particular one pulls together all of Robert Silverberg's very earliest stories from the exotic adventure Men's Adventure magazine and puts them together in this gorgeous illustrated hardback. And that's exactly what we're going to be having a look at today. So sit back, relax, and let's get to it. Robert Silverberg is best known for his science fiction work, with him having millions of fans around the world. Titles such as The World Inside, Lord Valentine's Castle, and The Man in the Maze, winning him numerous Hugo and Nebula awards. However, it's some of his early short stories that are on offer here. Never before collected, these are taken from the classic, if short-lived, men's adventure magazine, Exotic Adventures dating from 1958 and 1959. Just six issues were published, with Robert Silverberg writing under various pseudonyms. Although these stories were paying fairly well, it paled in comparison to the money he started making writing soft core titles for nightstand books, amongst others. I have a fair few of these, mainly written under Silverberg's pseudonym Don Elliott, and I'll link to my video looking at these nightstand books at the end of this review. Look at this fantastic advert for a set of 40 Bridget Bardot pictures. That delectable piece of French pastry. <laughs> Each story is reprinted almost exactly as it first appeared in Exotic Adventures, alongside the original period adverts. These adverts are often hilarious, but would be marketed to appeal to the men's adventure magazine reader of the time. The stories follow a fairly familiar format with sometimes a twist at the end, and almost all containing a softcore sex scene. There are a variety of settings, from college campus to the jungle, but these were aimed at what the audience would be familiar with. Although issue 2 does not contain a Silverberg story, it does have work by Harlan Ellison and George H. Smith. Just look at these fabulous covers, they really do jump off the pages. This then is the format going forward. The stories are beautifully presented with the interior artwork varying a little from incredibly high quality to brief sketches. I'm not a fan of the cartoon gags that ran throughout the magazine. These are dated and I feel they could have perhaps been dropped. Silverberg's writing, however, remains of a consistently high quality throughout, and I was impressed with the wide variety of settings whilst keeping within the confines of a men's adventure magazine of the late 1950s. Certainly Exotic Adventures is more risque than others that I've seen from the Men's Adventure Library, but these are the stories that Silverberg wrote, warts and indeed heaving bosoms and all. The quality of the production remains very high, with this large format hardback from publisher New Texture being particularly readable and a joy to consume. In total, there's just over 140 pages of action to enjoy, which I'm sure you will in just a couple of sittings like I did. Even if you're not really familiar with Silverberg's early work, there's a lot here to discover. For the Silverberg completionist, this book is a must. For fans of General Men's Adventure magazine, it comes with a very high recommendation. Bob and Wyatt have produced a great book here, and I look forward to their next publication. I have covered other books in the Men's Adventure Library, and I'll link to that particular video at the end. If you have enjoyed today's video, do please give it that thumbs up, and do please consider subscribing if you're not already for regular vintage Men's Adventure action. Thank you very much for watching today, and I shall look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.